Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Today we're looking at a game called The Spatials Galactology. Now, this has recently left early access, so I thought it'd be a good time to take a look at this and actually see what it's like, because normally, as you uh, follow, follow my channel, you notice I do play a lot of early access games. So I thought this would be quite interesting to play a game that's actually left early access, so I'm doing it the opposite way around. So do love um, real-time strategy games and sci-fi games and things like that. So this sounds like this will be right up my street. So we're going to go ahead and do a new game. Ooh, welcome. Tell your daily routine. Feel like you haven't found your place in the universe. Curious about the outer star system. If you've answered yes and these questions, don't hesitate and join now. Okay, so it looks like I can do options. I can do ooh, planet kind, random events. Yeah, let's do all that. Enable station violence events. Ooh. And apparently there's mod support. Oh, cool. Okay, let's start the game. I do like the, uh, the graphical effect so far, though. That looks pretty cool. So I've had a quick five minute go on this just to see the basics of the game. But there's a lot that I don't know. So we're going to learn as we go through this. Right, so this is our basic tutorial. Uh, so we need to learn the basics of the game. Can I actually let me, all right, as I'm su such a professional uh, channel, let's go and turn that music down a little bit. There you go. Just so we've got the the game, the game playing. Okay, right. So first of all, basics. So basics, welcome to the Spatials Galactology. This is your station. It's not much right now. Your primary mission is to build it up and defend it so it becomes the home of Spatials and a hotspot for visitors. Scroll around you using Wasada and zoom in and out using the... Oh, look at the, zo the zoom level's pretty decent. All right, so this is my play area. Got some water. Mm, some hills, some trees. Yeah, this looks like a pretty decent area. Okay, that's my, that's my colonists. Okay, the left toolbar has all the tools you need to build and manage your station. Voila. Uh, the first tool is the info tool. You can always select it with the escape key. Okay, let's do that then. Let's try and press escape. Okay, we've got that selected. So if we press escape. Oh yeah, there you go. So it jumps back to that when you press escape. Right, so we'll click on any officer. Uh, let's click on... What's that? What's that stuff? Uh, fruit? What is it? Let's move that. Oh, it's a stack. It is fruit as well. Stack of fruits. 200 fruits. Uh, biological, does it does it have, I wonder if it deteriorates the uh, the food, Ooh, mead, yeah we've got to make some of that, right tutorial's now finished, okay, next one is vitals, so uh, the main function of the station is to keep your officers alive and well, they'll work here and come back here after exploring the galaxy, they'll need to satisfy their vitals, let's take a look at them, okay so we've got the vital tool selected, let's click on someone, so uh, it's these things here, so it's all hunger first, social sleep. Uh, the panel displays all the vitals by making available food, drink, leisure time areas and other systems you can fill the bars. Don't let them get too low, otherwise it could affect their mind. Okay, so that's the mind. Oh, they've got recent, um, recent perks there. Uh, let's have a little look. The mind of an officer can be influenced by many kinds of things. For example, being hungry can not only hurt your officer, it will also cause them to have a negative feeling. You can see those feelings listed under the bar. If it goes too low, they may lose their will to live or become violent. Continue the next tutorial to start building a kitchen. Okay, so you can see I've recently I've chatted and that's given me a plus three bonus. I'm rested, sated and fed. So sleep and food are important. Okay, so buildings. The station is made of rooms. Rooms must always be delimited by walls. Well, eh? Rooms must always be delimited by walls or doors, and the ground must be completely covered in floor tiles. Only when any conditions are met, the game will consider an area a room. Okay, so we need to select this one. This is the build floor. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty nice. I like that. Okay, it lets me draw a blueprint of a floor on the station when you drag the left mouse button. Drag the mouse button between the two markers. Oh, oh, here we go. Nice, we're doing a nice square little room. Um, and now these are gonna go ahead and build it. So 
wait for them to finish. Come on, build it. We get a sound. Yes, yes. Oh, I like that. It's, just, it's a little touches in the games that I always like with these sort of games. We've got three tiles left to build. Yes. Okay, done. Rooms are not a floor. They also need walls. Select the wall tool. Okay. So, lay down the blueprints of the wall around the floor. Drag the left mouse button between the two markers. Tip. You can press shift to toggle the build wall tool into the wall eraser. Okay. Oh, I see. Hmm. I can chop down walls if I make any mistakes. Okay, let's get these walls all built then. There we go. That should all be uh, getting built. But I don't know what... I, I assume we're using this resource over here for building the walls. What is that? Aluminum. Or aluminium, as we like to call it in uh, Britain. Okay. Walls up. Come on. Build me more walls. There's three, three pieces of... Uh, Aluminium per wall spec. Nice. Couple left to do. Now I don't think, I don't know if you can speed up time in this. Maybe that maybe that's a later on tutorial. Still building. I do like if you if you hover over it, the uh, 3D overview disappears. You come back off it. You can see it. There you go. Two bits left. One bit left. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Right, excellent. Uh, we now need to close the last tile in the corner, but if we built a wall there, it'd be impossible to enter exit. We need a door. Okay, so the door is under security apparently, and then door. It wants me to put the door there. Rotate it Q and E. Or by dragging the mouse once where? Or by dragging the mouse once you click to build it. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, we are building a wall. Well, sorry, a, do a door. What does that need to build? Oh, I don't think it needs any materials. It's bit it's used from the actual wall itself. That's pretty unusual. Okay. This is now a complete valid room. The building tool display its floor area with a green tint indicated the valid floor. Yes. Um, a valid but empty room is not useful. The next tutorial shows the basic objects. Ooh. Let's have a little look. So, we're going to populate this room now. So, there's lots of different facilities. So, we're going to food and drink. And I'm going to build a basic kitchen. So, it wants me to put it there in a the corner. The arrow, I assume, is a work interface bit. So, rotate it round, stick it down. Someone's going to come along and build that. Now, I look, I wonder if the basic items like that don't require any resources. Didn't see him grab any resources for that. Nice. Um, officers and visitors will refuse to eat and drink from the floor. You must build a table for them. Okay, so let's go to objects. Uh, canteen table, I guess it is. And it's got to be that way. Okay, gonna build it. There we go, we're building it. I don't know if it's one person per uh, thing. One person per the kitchen, one used table. Oh, cool. It's just like a little booth of a table. It's pretty cool. Now, with the facilities for food and drinks, we still have to give production orders. Um, while this tiny combination of a kitchen and a table is fine for a starter station, putting two kitchens or more in the same room will annoy officers trying to get a quiet lunch. Consider building a separate kitchen room when you grow your station. Okay. Right, we need to make some food then, so let's do production. Many re raw resources must be processed before they can be used by your officers. Right, so let's go to the job matrix. Now, I wanted to make sure I've got at least one cook. Oh, cool. This is a bit like um, RimWorld, I guess, with the skills. Now, can we see 
what their individual skills are. Let's Maybe, maybe it's not skill based. This it's uh, you have to assign a task to someone. I think, um, I think we should only have one chef, and that chef should be called Ham <laughs> Ham Tapia. Yeah, you're a red shirt. <laughs> you can be the chef. Okay. Um, now let's set up our kitchen to cook some food. Select it with the info tool. Okay. And we need to click the factory tab. Uh, it allows me to a, make new orders to the kitchen. By default, its production has no orders. So we need to create an order. And we need to click basic ration, which we've already got selected. So we're going to add to queue. And it's added. Factory info panel has changed into order creation view. So let's recipe. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we've done all that. Current queue, we've got one item. So it looks like, come on, where's my chef? There you go. He goes taking some, he's taking some fruits to the uh, processing area. Gonna make me a meal. So two fruits makes one ration. Quite slow at the moment making it. I wonder if it'll improve in time. Okay, we're about to have a meal come launching out of here any second. And have one meal. One meal between. How many people have we actually got? One, two, three, four, five of us. Yes, we've got a meal. Okay, have I done that? He's eating it. Nom, 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 nom. I don't know if that tutorial's got stuck in that mode. Let's click on that again. All right, basic ration. Ah, there you go. We can actually alter the uh, amount on here. Um, it, wants it, it wants you to change this to make three meals. Okay, then click add to queue. There you go. I just broke the tutorial. Waiting for a worker. He's currently eating his delicious uh, basic rations. Then he's going to go. Now, will he, will he take... Uh, six units of food, or will he only take two? How many has he got? How do you see his inventory? Hmm. I'm not sure if he's making one meal or three. I think it's making one meal because it says, let's wait for them to finish one ration. Make that meal. Yes, yeah, so it will be interesting to see the job matrix to see if they actually improve at all with the cooking. He has got XP. He's got... Is it one meal per XP? He's made one meal. Yeah, he's got. He's done two meals now. So once he's done 15, he's going to get the next thing of experience. And he's going to carry on making food there. Excellent. Right. So that's that done. Right. Next up, we've got stocks. Keeping piles of resources on the floor works. It's not a very controllable situation. For this reason, there are objects that keep an internal stock of resources. Some of them may even require such stock to work. Let's build a food vendor. Ooh. So if we go to food and drink, canteen food, and we're going to stick a food vendor in here. Now, does that store the meals from there? Very interesting. Now, who's going to go and make that? Ah, uh, looks like Kelsey El Elmerick is going to go and build it. Good old Kelsey Emmerich, the, uh, the red shirt. Interesting, another health as well. It's not 100. Different amounts, look. 193, 198. Ooh, now switch to the info tool and select the vendor. Okay. Select the stocks panel. Where is the stocks panel? Is it over here? No. Oh, no. Oh, let's click it again. It's apparently it's that symbol. Hmm. Why can I not see that symbol? I literally can't. It's this panel, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Weird. I was already in that. In this panel, you can adjust the parameters for stock by keeping... Um, you adjust the parameters for the stock keeping system in this food vendor. It's already set to stock rations by default. 
You can change its resource if you wish so. The food shop will now start stocking rations. Your officers will deliver rations to it up to the configured max amount. When located far from your production center, stock keeping objects help with the efficient distribution of products and resources. They also enable a sale of products to the visitors once you allow them into your station. Okay, let's look at two more of them. Select the build objects tool. I think we're going to need some more um, meals made in this then. Let's, um, let's, do, let's do a nice amount. Let's do like 10. Get some meals made in there and stored in there. So we've got quite a lot of food over there. Okay, so it wants me to look at building. Ooh, a pallet. The highlighted object is a pallet. Pallets are stock controlling objects for a single kind of resource, like a shop. They can be used for logistics. For example, if you build a pallet next to a factory, it'll automatically make its stock available to it. Use pallets when you want precise stock control of a single... All right, so we could put the food next to the, the cooking station or near it, I guess. The highlighted object is storage area. Uh, when building one inside the room, it'll make the floor of that room a valid dumping area. You can also decide which kind of resource can be dumped in its area, but there's no stock control. Use storage areas for storing bulk cargo and production. That's that one. Okay, so that's... So the pallets for storing, like, food... Well, resources that I'm going to use for making items, I guess, and storage area is going to be bulk general storage. Okay, you can also deliver and sell your product directly to other planets in the galaxy. Check the imports tab in the sieve screen. Um, okay, this is the SIF screen. Reputation, import, and exports. Ooh, the SIF screen displays all the civilizations you have discovered in the galaxy. So, there's only two of us here. Crustacean bunch and human civilians. Okay, let's click on these. So these are the humans. Select the reputation tab. Up here. Reputation is a me measure of how much a SIF likes you. Less than 1,500 points and then refuse to engage in commerce with you. Okay, so these like me then. Uh, the visits to your station won't be peaceful. Oh dear. More than 15,000 and you'll be able to engage in commerce and they may come visit as tourists. You can raise your reputation with embassies and taking good uh, tourists. Hostiles, civ, accept tributes instead. A high reputation results in lower export prices. So I guess that's saying that if I'm hostile with people, I, <laughs> I have to offer them tribute until they... Let's say they stop hating me. Okay, select the resources tab. That's got to be one of these, isn't it? Resources. Oh, here you guys, here. Your station can manufacture dozens of products, but all the raw resources are extracted from planets. Most planets are inhabited by a sieve. Loading extracted resources from planets will cost you some credits, and the more a sieve like you, the lower the price. So... Does that mean I can only manufacture certain things on my planet and then I need, like, say, fruits from a different planet, nitrogen from a different planet? Hmm, interesting. Select the cell tab. Sell to humans. Manufacturing is not just your internal needs. You can also sell your production excess to tourists in the station or directly to their planets from the import tab. Here you can select a product, a planet with a demand for that product, an idle home park ship, and a product amount. Then you can issue... Yeah, that sounds very complicated. Um, so basically, we can ma we can make stuff and sell it to people. And we can sell it directly to the planets. Or we can sell it to tourists. I think that's what it's saying. Hmm. So that's that tutorial done. Let's return back to the main bit. Uh, yeah, we've done that bit. So I guess, I guess, is that, it? is that it with the tutorials then? I guess, I guess that's it then. I guess we're at, uh, we're at an end. We've already built a food vendor, so I don't, I don't really want to build that again. So we've already, do, we've already done that one. So is that, it looks like that's it for the tutorials then. So let's, uh, let's build up the base a little bit then. Let's see what different types of rooms we can make. So let's do another room. Well, we've got that stockpile thing, haven't we? Let's, um, let's go and stick one of those down. So we've got the pallet in here. Ooh, the goal, cook 10 rations, has been completed. Let's build a pallet over there. And let's look at this then. So we've got goals, cook 10 rations. Um, what do we get? 150 credits. So that's me credits up there, 28,000. 
Nice. All right, so these are more like the sort of goals that we've got now. So basic vitals are being met. Um, so we do need to think about sleeping, showering. So we've got a little production area here. I'm trying to... Right, select the resources. So I want in this one... I want, I want fruits to go in that. Let's see if someone takes the fruits inside there. We do need to... I need to figure out how I'm going to get the fruits. Um, do we grow them or do we harvest them? <laughs> These trees don't look like they are laden with fruits, so... Um, I've got a feeling we need to somehow build it outside. Robot inventory. What the heck is that? Right. So we've got various goals on there. The difference between the goals on that one. Goal on that one. Um, I think maybe I should do like a bunk sort of room. So let's go ahead and build a, a room. Now... I want to build it next to that. Can I just do it there like that? Yeah, let's do it like this. Do a similar size room. Oh, so you can do different types of material. I've only got um, aluminium at the moment, but I can also use steel and titanium. Ooh, look at this. Ham Tapia is now experienced enough to become a scientist. You can promote this offset in the staff screen. Interesting. So I could make him a scientist. Oh, oh my giddy ant. So, yeah. So this is a whole tech tree for research. So, if we make him a scientist, I guess it's going to give him a boost. And we can go, let's go for, let's promote him as a scientist. Hang on. I want him to be a chef, though. But he needs to be a scientist in the in the tree. That's pretty cool. Let's promote him. Okay, we've actually upgraded a goal now. Let's come out of that. Let's close that down. Oh, look at that is cool. Look at that though. So now he, now he's like a scientist. He's got a blue he's got a blue shirt on. Oh, that is cool. That is uh Star Trek themed, I guess. Okay, so we've got a goal here now. Let's claim the reward. Nice. Go back to that. Close that down. Right. You're trapped in that room now, so... You need to put a floor in that room. And you need to do a door. So what was the door? It was security. Security. Door. There we go. Get the floor down. Come out of that. Now, interesting enough, one of those goals I saw pop up then was build three extractors on the planet. So there must be an outdoor thing. So we can do gardens. Here is how I can get food. Plant plot. What does that do? Is it plant plot as in, is it decoration? No, because decoration is there. Let's stick one down. I don't actually know what these actually do, so we're going to just stick one down just to see what it does. And there's a bush as well. Surely the bush has got food on it. I'm going to plant different ones of all these various ones just to see what they do. Surely I don't need to plant a tree because I've got loads of them already, but we'll do it. Right, so this is going to be another room. I can just... That, that's the thing I need to get my head around here. It's not... You don't build a science room, you add objects to a room. So, let's take a little look at facilities. So, I, th I think it was beds and stuff I needed. So, let's do resting. And we're going to do a bed. There's, how many did I say people I've got? I've got one, two, three, four. Hang on, I've got six people. Yeah, I've got six people. So, let's just do six beds. Um, should be able to do it like that. Okay. That's one bed built. Now, these things here. Right, so we built these. 
plant pot. What does it do? I was hoping these would have a bit of food on them or something, but... Hmm. They don't seem to have any food on them. We've got our beds... Uh, our beds are getting built now, so... Looks like they're all going to... Uh, <laughs> they're all going to sleep. Are they actually complaining about... Um, being tired? Uh, 82 sleep you're on. You're on 69 sleep. So there's a few of them that do need to sleep. I think I've not got enough beds. Yeah, I've not, I've not built enough beds. We're actually one bed short. Um, which is a bit of a pain. The room is slightly not big enough for that other bed. Guess. Good. I'll we'll have to expand this room. Um, we expand it like this. We'll have to do that shift thing. We'll have to remove the wall. And bring this out another layer. There we go. That's it. Okay. At least we're discovering how to build these uh, individual rooms and stuff up now. Need to figure out how to get some resources though. Because we've got sleep. We have got meals and stuff stored over there. But we uh, need to figure out a way of making more meals. Stick a floor down in here. Go. So the walls should get up, the floors will get put down, and then I can do another do another bed. Okay, let's have a little look at other objects. So facilities. I reckon facilities is gonna make some food. We've got a research table, we've got a recycler. Ooh, now it's a recycler. Destroys litter and trash. We've got a metal press. Heavy metal production. Um, there's got to be something I can put on the planet, though. I mean, there is the... We've, we've done the... I think we've done all the basics of the tutorial. We just need to do the more advanced stuff. Now, I need. I do need another bed. So we're going to stick another bed in the corner of that room. And... We've got canteen food. We've not got drinks yet. Not really got the space for it. These, they, these rooms are not really the right uh, size. Um, what was a canteen? Make drinks available for consumption. I mean, ideally, I should have all this sort of stuck together, I guess. I wonder if it makes a difference to where I actually put the stuff. Um... So I'm not actually doing anything at the moment. I'm actually assigning them jobs. Let's have a little look. Walk to. I can order them to walk around. Heal target. Teleport to. Oh, that, that, is, that is cool. I don't know what I don't know what purpose that is, but that is cool. I wonder if we can go off world to like a different planet. That would be cool. Um anything else up here fleet you've got to be kidding me are you telling me not only can I make ships on a not only can I make a planet I can actually make ships if that is the case wow looks like I've got two different types of ships hmm right so I think we need to expand this a little bit let's um let's take down the walls uh, let's have a little look. So, we want to do... They seem quite happy with the one, ta one table at the moment. Let's let's just do drinks, because we've not got anywhere to drink at the moment. So, we're going to knock the walls down here. Just in that middle bit. And then we're going to build the walls up. In fact, let's make this, make this quite a bit bigger. There we go. And I'm going to build the floor in there like that. There we go. There's quite a lot to build. Hopefully I don't run out of metal in the middle of building all of this this stuff. Make sure we've got the... Uh, 
floor tagged everywhere. There we go. Floor's getting put down. Walls are getting put up. Now let's get a food and drink. Let's do a canteen. Now which is a forward facing unit? Here. I want to stick it over here in the corner. And we've got our uh, bedroom over here. Now, I think one of the tasks had said... Oh, there you go. So, we've actually got a task there. Build three plain beds and one hygienizer. So, we do need to build that hygiene thing. So, maybe I can stick that in the corner. I've actually probably put too many, put too many items in that room. Right, so where's this hygiene thing? Um, it's... Gotta be. I'm assuming it's an item in here. I don't really see the option to, to, to place it, though. How do I make that hygiene thing? Do I need to do uh, research and research it, perhaps? Uh, there's also, like, the extractors. I've not got the option to do that yet. Ten decorations. Uh, basic security. Land. Oh, there's so there's so many things to do for this. Anyway, that's all I'm going to actually do for now. So we've got our basic stuff here. Let me just cancel out of that. I assume I need to make some uh, drinks in this. Restock at two, maximum five. Right, no stock or no path to required filtered water. We have got the water there. Let's see if we can sort that out. So, stick a pallet there. Okay, somebody's going to hopefully build that. And I'm going to assign water to this. Because that's water there, isn't it? Stack of water. Why they can't just drink it from there? Okay. There we go. Click that. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Right, how do I manually tell them to move? Right mouse button. Go on. There you go. Right, so we have got a stack. What are you are you are you all testing me? Get outside. <laughs> I just want to click on the pallet. And you as well. Are you have you seriously built the wall on top of yourself? Yeah, I've trapped him in the wall. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> we've got a new permanent feature there. Apparently, we have got someone in the wall there. Are you out of the wall now? There you go. How strange. Actually, yeah, a couple of them were trapped in the wall there. Right, so we've got a pallet here. I want to edit. And we want to put water in this. So click that. Select. Hopefully, someone's going to come and collect this water. There we go. You look like a likely candidate. Take that delicious water to there. There we go. Now, does that mean you make water now? Resource filtered water. Restock it to. No stock or... Where? Is that, is that not filtered water? Maybe that's not. Anyway, we're going to figure that out in the next video. So anyway, if you do want to see some more of this on the channel, let me know in the uh, comments box below. So this is Spatial Galaxology, and it's left early access. And it does seem pretty good so far. It's just a case of getting getting used to the actual controls and stuff. So if you guys have got any tips, if you played this uh, earlier, or you know anything about it, leave us a comment below. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. See you next time.